my channel thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of the new chicken house for the girls and the run um, I'll spin you around so you can have a look and step inside so we have this built it's 12 by 6 frame with uh, chicken wire along the top it's not like chicken wire. I think it's a protective wire anyway um, anyway and um, plastic sheeting around on the inside it has chicken wire all the way down on the bottom underneath to keep the rats and the foxes out I shall take you in to have a little tour you right girls yeah I've got the swinging basket that we put um, the green veg in and anything else the swing that's the massive big water container that has just been filled up, so they're quite happy. Their food, their grit box, and the girls. And obviously two roosting bars so they can sit up high, because chickens do actually like to jump up high, don't you girls, hey? Yeah, and we've got another little roosting section there, and that's a little great way into their house. Um, pampered chicken sign over there. It's very um, secure, it's not so windy here either. Um, the husband put some beams up as well so we can hang more stuff off if we need to. So much better. Hello darling, you all right? You come to say hello, oh you've come up as well. That's, this is Rosie. And you two have lost your name tags, brilliant. I know you're Doris sitting in the middle anyway because of her back. And this is actually Ruby. You saying hello Ruby, hey? Ruby and we have little Roxy down there don't we Roxy and Mabel is the blue one we have um, honey over there in the yellow little ginger sitting there in the green uh, next to her is Roxy which you've already seen Roxy who have got daisies over here and we've got primrose there who have we got down there I think that's Mabel no it's, it's Annie sorry Annie so yeah, there you go. And Clementine, where's Clementine? We've got Mabel. Have you seen Clementine? Oh, there you are, Clementine, down there. And that's Rosie. She is the boss, aren't you, Rosie? Hey, you're the oldest one of the lot, aren't you? Yeah. So yeah, there we go. That's the girls. We have only got 11 girls now, 12 girls now, because unfortunately we've lost a couple on the way. Um, might add to the flock as soon as we've got out of this lockdown just because it's nice to have a big flock I think the older girls miss it I don't know right I should take you around to the little house and let you have a little look in there see how it is I think we're missing one Victoria I think she must be laying an egg so I'll take you around and we'll have a little look this is the outside of it I put some tarpaulin to it but I've actually stapled it to it just to keep the rain because in where I am positioned the rain comes in this way towards us and I don't want them getting absolutely drenched and the wind is horrendous this is a little four foot by six shed height wise it's not four foot I think it's about four foot in height as well actually um little hobbit's house I call it I would show you inside there in a minute but I think um I think we have um Victoria who is laying an egg yes Victoria's in there Right, okay, sorry Vic. There we go, leave her to it for a minute. Typical, she has to be in there when I want her to do something. So yeah, anyway. Um, that is how the coop stands. It's so much better because obviously we had them in that one, which we had tarpaulin on. If you remember, if you watch me on Instagram, you will know I had horrendous time with it. Keep repairing, repairing, repairing it. It was an absolute nightmare. So we ended up in purchasing this and getting this up it's a really well sturdy frame to be fair I can't fault it one bit and it actually looks really quite nice here so I do have to get around to painting it though so yes um I'll get the keys and I'll share, show you what it's like inside their little house I will be back okay this is the house it's got a couple of roosting bars nothing fancy to it it is painted in white lovely curtains uh, four nesting boxes. I won't go too much because Victoria's trying to lay an egg, bless her. And you lot have come in to say hello. Uh, that is basically all it is. Curtains I made myself. Um, and uh, yeah, 
easily to wash as well so I can just get them washed and get cleaned up. It doesn't help if it's been a bit wet and the chickens have been using this as a bit of a, a sleeping zone which isn't the greatest as you can tell where they sleep at the night time. They all want to come in and see what's going on now. Yeah it's your home isn't it? Hey where you sleep at night time safe. It's completely fox proof. If a fox got in here I'd be very surprised. We actually did put this bar in and that bar because we thought it might be extra. They love to roost over night time so that's really good. So there you go and that's their little house and obviously they've got an air window here that I sometimes open up in the daytime when they've finished just to let the flies in and out if you know what I mean. I like to hang lavender in there and herbs to keep the flies at bay and some mint because apparently the flies don't like mint either. I don't know how true that is but hey ho. So there you go there is a little tour of the chicken house with the girls happy as Larry not happy that I've just disturbed her while she's trying to lay an egg I admit but there you go <laughs> making a bit of noise now they're waiting for something to eat I'll chuck some greens in or something but yeah there we go hope you've enjoyed that if you'd like to see more on chickens or anything you want to know about chickens drop me a message in the comments and I'll happily answer your questions. If you like this, make sure you uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe so you don't miss any more. Thank you for watching.